Hey y'all, so I have had a lot going on and um, that kind of just usually happens when he is continuing to call me higher. Um, when I go through a level or a round of testing, especially if it's something new, um, like, wait a minute, what's, what's going on? And so I have been pretty much fasting on accident per usual. Um, wasn't sleeping and I know that a lot of times when that's happening, it's because one, he wants me spiritually alert or because he's trying to keep me from, you know, being hit by some spiritual dart, some witchcraft or whatever, and, um, you know, to intercede and all that. And so that's kind of what's been going on with me since, um, excuse me, Sunday. And I had told y'all in one of my community posts, you know, they was trying to drag me on Twitter and uh, I would say the most... Okay, so it tested my response to people one, but also kind of like, wow, like this is why you called me to speak about. So, speak about this, like, um, just dealing with religious narcissists, right? But not only that, um, it was it it was humbling, right? But it was also like, wow, like people really be talking crazy, like. Um, so when I had shared Courtney's video, please know that that's exactly what I was going through. Like I was like. It was some people, like, I didn't respond to nobody, but I was reading their comments, and it was like, what Bible do you read? Like, but humbling in the sense of, um, you know, we did the video where he talks about his leaders and stuff, and we are truly not on the milk of the word, okay? And so, realizing that, but also understanding, like, I'm really on the front line, and I felt all the heat, all the firing, especially because I wasn't just agreeing. Like, that's, I think, for myself, and not only that, I allow God to reveal things to me, right? And so just dealing with that. Usually whenever some type of Jezebelic attack happens, I, I'm reminded of all the other ones I've gone through in my life, and so it kind of just, I get a little upset, right? Um, so it, my feelings wasn't hurt okay it was one of those things where even in the moment god was like are you sure you're ready like are you sure and i was like ah! and so just understanding what comes with it um when he has called you to lead boldly at that and publicly child listen <laughs> listen <laughs> I don't know about this guy. Like that's that's the moment I was having with him, and um, that's what more so was bothering me that I wanted to um, kind of tone it down because of the pressure, right? Because of the um... okay. So let me tell you something that happened. Well, okay, I'm gonna have to make separate videos. Let me tell you something that happened. The week. Okay, so that happened. The stuff of Michael Todd happened on Sunday. During the week leading up to that, okay, me and my mama was walking one of those days, and we went walking outside of our normal time. So, like, let's shout out to God for giving me a word before I even knew, right? We went walking outside of the time we usually walk. A dog on my mama and them street that know we be walking started barking at us. And I was like, I think he fell away because we're not walking during our normal time. Like, like he regulated the street. This is important. Hear me out, okay? And so um, I was telling my mama, like, I think he fell away. But because he started barking, the, the neighbor across the street that dog who is very aggressive and i do mean very aggressive like their fence is about to break because he's always running up on it hitting it and stuff he started barking and it was a very strong sense of y'all know y'all not supposed to be walking at the time that y'all are walking this is not the time you walk they like the dogs listen to me like the dogs control what time we walk right and so i was telling my mama you could tell they felt away but because they had started barking it caused all of the dogs in the neighborhood to start barking you know, I'm like, i know you lying like i why like why are y'all doing this and so um because they were so aggressive they were so loud and y'all know like I mean I don't like dogs like you know and so usually not aggressive ones right and so I was like let's just turn around like forget it because they was all riled up but as soon as I went to turn around God was like no and I was like no and he was like you better not let them dogs keep y'all from walking because that's what we usually do okay he's doing a new thing okay so if you're someone who is like me which I assume you are because you're signing my voice or you know in this season a lot of the times people have gotten you to back down to turn around because they use these intimidating tactics like a like an aggressive dog barking and y'all know i see jezebel as a dog in my dreams it's either that or like a snake like depending on what aspect of the spirit i'm dealing with but i see her as this vicious dog a lot of the times okay and so god made it clear do not turn around do your walk okay i was like okay and we so, did that 
when he was revealing it to me after the whole Twitter fiasco, um, the walk represented my faith walk, right? Because I know what I'm set out to do. I know what I'm called to do. I know what I'm trying to walk out, right? Like the same way me and my mama walked out the house with the intention to go on a walk. I am on a faith walk, but there are going to be these barking spirits, right? Especially these religious narcissists that they can't control you. The, hey, you're supposed to do this now. You're supposed to do this. And hey, you need to go to seminary school. That's me really feeling the way because I'm so tired of people telling me that. But, um they're going to be doing that and they're going to be barking and some of them they don't just bark and talk they're aggressive like they will try to bust the fence to get to you i need y'all to catch this word okay because i didn't even think i was about to release this one shout out to the holy spirit um but i need y'all to catch that don't let them deter you on your walk don't let them deter you on your faith walk don't let them intimidate you turn you around make you back down because i've dealt with that not just in the religious you know arena like my whole life across the board okay don't let them make you back down we thugged it out which is what i've been you know really doing all together because this is new to me like who it's hard being like so bold being so i was like god i'm just not even gonna like share my thoughts and opinions no more because these people got me messed up like i don't know why they so comfortable tweeting me and they don't know me like you don't know me the scripture says touch not the anointed bring my prophet no harm so now i'm over here praying for them because i'm like oh they didn't lost it like you even if you don't agree with what i'm saying what is wrong with you right and so um you know, I had to thug that experience out and I know it comes with it. And everybody close to me, I had told y'all in the one where it's me and you against the world, they were all like, you know, this is just the start, Megan. And it made me sad. Like I knew that they were confirming it to me. And it's like, Lord, I don't want to take all this heat. I don't want to be in the front. Let me be quiet. He ain't called me to be quiet. He never has. Okay. That has never been my role on this earth to just be quiet. And so, like I said, we usually when one thing happens, it triggers me for other experiences. So I'm gonna share this for real for the girls who are like me. Okay. The next in school, I was told I wasn't liked because I was all the boys liked me. So because I was pretty essentially. Um, and because I always had my own opinions okay so because i didn't follow the crowd and because i can't control how my face looks like what and so i've got a lot of heat just for that even if i don't give my opinion publicly because i don't follow the crowd because i don't just co-sign what everybody else be saying because i learned as a child and i thank god that my parents taught me this, this is gonna bring me to the dream i had last night a little bit but um like following the crowd is a really good way to get to hell like because listen so what happened with Twitter was this this gospel radio station, at least that's the, what they said they were, um, <laughs> they asked me if I wanted to get on a Twitter space and talk about my perspective on everything because my perspective was against the majority, right? The same thing, bullying, manipulation, control. I want you to think just like me. I wasn't raised to do that. My dad did not raise me to be like that my earthly father or my heavenly father i think for myself and i let god reveal and again i can't control my face he even told me some of the girls that was coming at me crazy on twitter and some of the dudes they got mad because of how i looked god told me that like they clicked on my picture and was like ooh, and felt away who does that a bully an insecure bully an ignorant bully okay and so he been dealing with my heart because regardless of if i feel attacked wrong right whatever my heart still got to be right that's why it was like the other night when i got on here and i was like um i don't really plan on making no videos because i really do got i get real like like how elijah ran off i wasn't feeling like that but it was like nah like i'm straight like i really god give me another assignment please because i keep it respectful i don't gotta agree with you you know, like, I don't like bullies, period. But that's how them dogs did us on that walk, right? Long and so story short, when we came back through, asked me if them dogs was barking. No, because you want, you don't dictate what I do. And sometimes that's what you got to just let people know. You don't control what's going on over here. If God co-signed the tweet, he co-signed the tweet. Like, and you... And then you just got to let people know. And so that's a part of me where I'm at in this season, like just learning, like <sighs> one, he really expect me to hold it down and y'all it's hard. Like I had a vision of me running off, like in the front, like all this fire and all this heat I'm taking, like, nah, somebody else take this spot. But that's why he has trained me so intently, like going on two years, y'all. Like that is why well, it's been like a year, a year and a half, a little over a year and a half. Mm, I don't know. I need to sit down with the calendar but um that's why he has trained me so intently and he made that clear he ain't i can't fold i can't run off because i'm taking heat like i can't i can't so it was just a lot um and even my sister like she was like 
well, guess what? You can't make your page private, like, to keep people from tweeting me. Like, <laughs> and she was like, because then you're going to look weak. And, and that was real. And because I, I still 100% stand on what I said. I 100% stand on what I said. God was telling me in all of it. Like, I 100% stand on everything I said. And I ain't weak, right? Like, and that's, he he has made me such a soldier, such a warrior, like, hold it down. And he sent people who make me, um, encourage me and teach me and show me how to hold my own. Like, even when I was telling them what was going on, they was like, did you back down? No, I didn't back down. I meant what I said. I said what I said. And I don't care what you think. And like, and so he been breaking that, breaking that off of me, caring about if people like me. Do you want to be liked or do you want to be used? And uh, a lot of the time when you chosen, you don't even have an option. Like it ain't no, well, God, I want to be liked. It don't matter because I've chosen you to use you. I don't know who needs that. Let it set you free because we've been really dealing with me. I wish sometimes I wasn't as spiritually um, sensitive as I was. I sometimes wish I wasn't as intense as I was. I sometimes wish I didn't perceive the way that I did. I sometimes wish that I could fit in and people would leave me alone. But at the end of the day, that's not why I was born. The world hated Jesus first. Okay? In the world, not of the world. Your perspective is going against the majority. It's a whole lot of Christians who don't hear from God. Who don't have that relationship. And so then it came to the point to where like, well, let me pray for them. I'm no better than anybody. Okay? No better than nobody. But I know where I am on my walk. I know what I have sacrificed. I know the price that I have paid for this anointing. To not be moved or phased by the people who claim Christ. But you talk to people crazy. Crazy. So the same God that told him not to do that is the same God who told you to talk to me crazy? Can't be. And I don't want to get into all my viewpoints on that. But he said some stuff was about to shake. He said a wave was coming. If that wasn't clear with all that Sunday and to include the actual physical tsunami that has taken place. And so then he led me back to my word that I reshared with y'all. Um, and not only that, um, just come higher. Like, that's why I ain't come higher. I ain't want to make no videos because that's what he was doing. Come higher. You got to come above the attacks. You got to come above the witchcraft. You got to be at this perspective to where you can see what I am doing. I'm showing you got to come higher so you can see how I'm wanting you to see up here. So you can move up here. It's a different code of conduct up here. You can't talk to people crazy up here. That was one of my tests. Because I'm like, let me clap back. Please, please let me clap back. He don't let me. Okay? Come higher. It's so much going on. And I think a lot of y'all feel it too, right? Extremely discerning. Go to the source yourself. Seek God yourself. I've had my own dreams concerning false prophets. Okay? They have a special place in hell with the devil. That's what Revelation says. But the wheat and the tares grow up together. God does the separating. And if you don't like somebody, if you don't, if you're not, their voice ain't for you. Okay. Unfollow them. Don't watch them. Don't listen to them. Okay. Do what you need to do. Don't go to their church. Whatever it is, do what you need to do because that's between you and God. Okay. But it's also between you and God. If you out here accusing folks like the enemy, if you out here talking reckless like the enemy, that's what he does. He's an accuser of the brethren. He accuses, conde condemns, attacks. That's not God. So you, like, listen, I'm not the one. I need everybody to stop playing with me because I'm really not the old Megan I used to be. I'm still sweet, but leave me alone, okay? As someone who has been charged to lead, God deals with his leaders, Okay. He does. He corrects us. I could have tweeted what I tweeted a little differently. He told me that, okay? He corrects his leaders. We got to be accountable. At the end of the day, you accountable for your walk. It says study to show yourself approved. When you get to heaven, it ain't going to be you can blame it on no other human. He going to ask you about what you had going on. And as a leader, when I get to heaven, he going to ask me what I did with my leadership role, with my position, with my influence, okay? Worry about yourself. People don't worry about yourself. Okay? Worry about you, how you acting, because no matter what is going on, he is checking your heart posture. Even when I'm under Jezebelic attack, my response is still going to be, Megan, where was your heart at? Even if I am the one attacked, whether right, wrong, agree, disagree, victim or villain, he checking your heart in all situations, all of them. That don't take accountability out of it because accountability is in the kingdom. There is righteous judgment. There is righteous anger. There is loving correction. 
But at some point, who are you acting like? Are you acting like God? Do you treat people like God? Because do y'all know how hard it is to love people who out here? <sighs> okay. Stephanie brought this up in a video the other day. Sinners, okay, know how to love people who love them. How do you treat folks who don't love you, who attack you? That's Christ-like, okay? There's still accountability. Ain't nobody ever negating that fact. But how you treat people, how you treat people matters. How you talk to people matters. When he says, touch not my anointed, that includes with your lips, okay? Your thoughts. I pray for everybody in my Twitter mentions. See, don't play that about me. And I need y'all to know that. <laughs> like, I know y'all know because y'all my family on fan on uh, YouTube. But, like, he does not play concerning Megan Michelle. Period. And he really was like, now pray for him. What? Did you see what they said to me, God? Did you see how that girl went outside of Twitter because she was mad about how my face looked to write me elsewhere? You want me to pray for her? What? That's what happens. When you are submitted to God, when you're under his authority, and please believe me, that is the only person I am submitted to an authority. Okay, and then like if he approved my husband, I got to submit to the, submit to him, right? But you don't control nothing over here. You don't tell me what to do. Like that does not work. That's not how that works. Okay, so let this message bless you. I pray everybody has had a heart check the way I have in the last week, okay? See y'all on the next upload. <laughs>